Thanks for joining us. I'm Don Nelson. Here are your top headlines. A Caldwell woman tells police she was shot in the shoulder while walking her dog. The injured woman tells authorities it happened just before 8.30 this morning in the Falcon Ridge subdivision near East Homedale Road and South Montana Avenue. She says a person driving a red vehicle just drove up to her and shot her one time. The woman says a passerby gave her a ride to the hospital. The injuries are not life threatening. Caldwell Police Detectives are investigating the case and they are trying to find out the identity of the driver. If you have any information, you can call the Canyon County Dispatch or you can always call Crime Stoppers at 208-343-COPS. Lawmakers are looking to expand permitless concealed carry rights to all adults. Thanks to recent laws, legal gun owners 21 and over can carry concealed virtually anywhere in the state without a permit. 18 to 20 year olds can also carry, but they can't conceal their weapons in cities. A new law would change that. The House State Affairs Committee voted 13 to 2 along party lines to send the legislation to the House floor. If you were good at fooling your parents into thinking you were too sick to go to school, Idaho's first medical school might want you. The Idaho College of Osteopathic Medicine uses specially trained actors to help new doctors with their bedside manner and other patient interactions. The goal is to give trainees a real life experience without any risk. And what's really great is we do solicit feedback from the standardized patients after these scenarios so they can tell the faculty this student had really great bedside manner or maybe this student should work on this. And so it's really um, a two-way engagement. You do get paid for being a patient actor, but it's only part-time. ICOM is looking to add to its base of actors because it's preparing for its second new incoming class that will double the number of students. Now, Rachel Garceau with the On Your Side forecast. And I would wager a guess the green belt will not be all that crowded tomorrow as we do have rain in the forecast. It will start up late tonight across the Treasure Valley and stick around off and on throughout the day Wednesday. Now, temperatures will climb tomorrow. We will see low to mid 50s across the Boise area, but we will keep scattered showers in the forecast off and on throughout the day. Maybe even a stray thunderstorm tomorrow evening as we have another little disturbance that will move through. And after that, a cold front comes through. So Thursday. Thursday, we will keep a chance of rain in the forecast, especially in the morning for the Boise area and some light snow will continue in the mountains for the next couple of days as well. So from the mid 50s tomorrow, we will see mid 40s for those highs on Thursday and then heading into the weekend temperatures drop even further, nearly 10 degrees below average in Boise for Friday and Saturday. Don't forget this weekend we spring forward, so set those clocks ahead one hour when you go to bed on Saturday and enjoy that extra hour of daylight on Sunday night. For your very latest news and weather headlines, remember you can always visit sixonyourside.com.